Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the RPG series. Sorry, this episode has been a little bit later than usual. Um, but I uh, didn't have time to make an episode, so here we are. Uh, basically, today we're going to look through the saving system. And um, it's actually quite a simple system. And I am going to make a uh, make the uh, system as a basic setup so you can finish it in your own uh, project the way you need to finish it so I'm not actually going to make the whole system for this project because that's going to take quite a while um, but I'm just going to make the basic system on how the saving works and then you can you know expand it to however you want it in your project so basically um, as you can see I actually did do some more work on the inventory system so now all the different slots have the same system like in the previous episodes uh, it looks through item slot 1 and then it changes item slot 1 here and then for item slot 3 for example it uh, does the same thing but then just for and uh, but then you know for item slot 3 in all cases so this is just a copy paste and changing the item slot values um, but now obviously we have a whole bunch of uh, values here variables that we need to save and load and save and load and all these are actually save and load variables except the ones with a question mark behind it so if it's you know fire blast or healing or attacking or are we dead uh, those were not saving because those are only for when you're playing playing <laughs> in the game and the same is for the spiky grass effect so you can actually put a question mark behind the spiky grass effect and then you know that now this is something that only happens in game that's how I always uh, make sure to uh, to show that in this case we're also going to add a bunch of more talents because for now we only have four talents but obviously uh, we need more talent points in the game but because we're going to make the basic system um, I'll do all of this off camera and I'm just going to show you guys how the saving system works. Alright, so first of all, um, just keep it in your inventory system map or folder. We're going to look up save. Uh, give me. Should actually be. Maybe a blueprint class. Yeah, a save game. So. You just need to you just need to look up the blueprint class and then look up save and then click the save game blueprint and then you can just uh, call it save file and then in here we're going to basically make sure all this all the system gets set up so we're not actually going to make all these variables now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the third person character we're going to make a custom event or we can actually what's better if we make a function so we're gonna make a function called save game and we're gonna make a function called load game so what the save game does it it will create a save game from slot so create a save game object in this ca uh, case we will actually call it the save file is what I called the save game from slot right but before this we need to make sure that it exists right so in this case we need to turn on or go to right click on return value and make promote to variable call this save file ref so reference and before this uh, we will uh, turn put in a sequence and then uh, the first one will go to a uh, uh, sorry uh, is valid oh is valid question mark and then see if it's valid or not and if it's not valid then it will create the save game object and then it will set this reference to what it is and then all these values all these values so the max health 
for example we will actually turn set this into the save uh, save file ref so in this case uh, we, what we will do is we will get save file ref so now what you need to do is you need to go to save file and you need to basically take the ones you want to be able to save so in this case max health and you want to copy this in the uh, save file here so we need max mana and we need uh, max xp and uh, also oh well you can also actually save the current health that can also be saved so we need that too and uh, you know current mana needs to be saved and uh, current xp needs to be saved and all these things need to be saved to current level but then for example is dead does not get saved but talent points do get saved right so you just need to select all the, all the things you want to save in here and then what you want to do is you want to get the save file ref right here and then you want to say health for example set uh, current health and then you want to take the current health from the third person character and you want to plop it in like that and then uh, I'll explain it more as we go but I'll ju I just want to show you guys uh, some more examples max health like that take this max health put it there and then uh, current mana so set current mana and then put it here and then you know get current mana put it in there and then set max mana and then so all right so now in layman's terms i'll explain exactly what's going on here because i can understand that this might feel a little bit weird so what we're doing right now is uh and i'm actually being kind of a idiot because this is not load game this is save game I'm uh, so very sorry about that. My god, that's stupid. There we go. <laughs> okay, so what happens here is the following. You click on save game, and then this function will, will uh, go into play. It will first do the zero sequence it will see is there a save file does does it exist and if it does exist it doesn't do anything if it does not exist it will create the save file and then it will set this reference save file rev to the save file all right so assume it does exist it will set the current health of the save, save files variable health to the current health of the character and it will do the same with the max health of the character and the same with the current mana of the character and now these variables will all be filled in so these variables will all become what the variables are in our game right here and once you've got all of these set up then you need to load the game as well now after all of this so once you've set all this in we're going to add another sequence you can also put it behind everything but this is easier and we're going to say save game to slot and then we'll take again the save file reference and then we will create a save slot reference to the name of the slot that is only in the character which we'll call save file and now it will save game to slot once all this has been done so once this whole thing is run it will save game to slot so once we go to load game now, now what we need to do is we need to say does save gal or wow does save game exist <laughs> and then we go to save file 
and then after this we put in a branch and then what we do is we will if this is true so it does exist we'll load game from slot which is again the save file uh, if you know so if if it exists if it has been created previously within the safe game file right here right or sorry right here um, if that is true then we'll load game from slot we are going to cost to save file and then from the save file we're going to pull all these values again so for example we're just going to start with current health and we're going to grab max health and we're going to grab current mana and we're going to grab max mana and then you can put them all under each other it looks nicest and then what you want to do now is you want to set your current health by and you know all these values by the respective value that you pulled from the safe game file it's just a database right and you're you're gonna load from the database so that's the easiest way to look at it right so let's look at this one more time just to make sure we got it all right whoa where is everything give me a second oh sorry right <laughs> so you click on save game it will see if it's valid it will create a save game it will make the reference then it will go to the reference and it will take all the the, the data from the file reference and overwrite that with the data that's currently in the character so let's say I picked up a health bonus of 25 I saved then the health on the save file value will become 125 instead of 100 which is normal and then if this has all been done it will sequence to the next one and it will say uh, save the save all this to the save file ref and then the slot name of it will be this and uh, I'm not sure if we have to do this maybe so just to save slot as the standard I don't think we need to do that but just to make sure it works and then in the load game what will happen is uh, we will uh, look if the save file exists if it does exist we will save we will load the save file and then we will cast to the save file and then all these values will be loaded into the character all right so let's see if this works uh what we can do is we will set button six so button six to Save game slot. Oh, to uh, what the heck? Okay, save game, and then button seven to load game. Ah, oh, load game. There we go, and then button eight. We will set max health to 200 okay let's see if this works so we will go to our test map and right now our health is a hundred we will press 8 and our health is now 200 we'll press 6 to save Health's 200 we'll close alright our health is now 100 we'll press 7 our health is now 200 and we successfully loaded our game that's it so what you need to do now in your game is you need to set up a, a save and load system so what I prefer to do is I prefer to use checkpoints or just a button in the menu so we're gonna do that in the next episode and then also I will make sure all these values are set up so all these values 
will be in here. So all the talent points, all the item slots, everything. And then when you load your game, everything will be uh, saved. So if you pick up something uh, in your inventory system, it will be saved as a variable in this uh, save file. And then you can just load it up. And uh, with these save files, you can also make multiple save files if you want to. And uh, yeah, but uh, this works perfectly. So I uh, hope you guys learned something today. And I hope you guys can use this in your project as well. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And in the next episode, we're going to add the UI and, uh, and uh, do some more tidy up on this system. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.